Hello everybody, so today I'm back and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a new kind of video and I'm going to be looking at the biggest books coming out in December 2016 in the UK. So I know the dates can differ between the UK and the US but basically I'm going to be looking at the books that I think are the most exciting, the books that are the most anticipated, the books that have got the most people looking forward to them, the books that are the most interesting in the current pop culture situation coming out in December 2016. So first up then is a book that's a bit different from my channel, but you'll see why when I say it. It's The Art of Rogue One. So Rogue One is the new Star Wars film that's coming out midway through December this year. And as you'd expect, there's a whole plethora of books coming out at the same time to kind of support that. There's a novelisation, there's picture books, there's encyclopedias, there's colouring books, everything you could imagine. But the one I'm most excited about is the art book. So I had the art book for The Force Awakens and that came out last year. And it's just so interesting to see how they brought it to life and kind of how they originally visualised it and how it ended up being. And I think because Rogue One is so different to a lot of previous Star Wars films, it'll be really interesting to see how that process went on and how they brought it to life. And this book, I think, will be perfect for that. It's also such a good Christmas gift. I know a lot of people, I've got friends who are such big Star Wars fans. And it's the exact kind of thing I know they'll love. Second up, a bit unusual, is the paperback of a hardback that came out long ago in January 2016. And that's The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. So this is a book that I'd heard about 18 months ago for the first time. And when it came out in January, it had such a buzz about it. It was so, so popular. It's kind of got shades of Elizabeth is Missing, shades of The Miniaturist. It's that kind of quirky, slightly unusual, but really heartwarming book that you really get quite invested in. Um, I've had a proof copy for ages and still haven't got around to reading it, but everyone I know that talks about it just raves about it. And I think in paperback, when it's that bit cheaper and it's got such a beautiful jacket, I think it's going to do really, really well and be one of those books that really takes off. A bit like The Miniaturist did, a bit like The Girl on the Train did, I think this could be huge. So the next book is a complete change for me. And this is one, it's a follow-up to a book that came out last year. It came out 18 months ago by an author called Sarah Knight. And the first book was called The Art of Not Giving a F***. And it's basically a really unusual twist on mindfulness. And it's not about getting into this mindful state and things. It's just much more about dealing with things, getting on with it, and just carrying on with your life. And it was super popular with all those kinds of people who didn't really like mindfulness, but wanted something quite practical and useful. And she's bringing a new one out. And the new one is called Pull Together, sensing a theme here. But it's just, it's very much in the same vein. They're really beautifully jacketed and they're quite practical and useful, but they don't succumb to a lot of the same tropes that a lot of the mindfulness books do. They kind of carve out their own niche. And I think especially in time for January and the new year, new you, and kind of reevaluating your life period that inevitably comes every January after all the Christmas eatings, this is a great book for that. So the next book then is one that I personally am really quite excited about. That I don't know if it'll be a huge seller. It's a well-known author, but it's a bit of a niche subject. It's by Michael Lewis, who wrote The Big Short, which was a Oscar nominated film this year as well, and Flash Boys, which I've talked about on this channel. And they're both kind of psychology, economics-y, trading-y linked. Kind of smart economics books. And he's got a new one coming out in December called The Undoing Project, which is about two of the kind of founding fathers of behavioural economics. So it's Daniel Kahneman and a guy called Svensky, and basically they met, well, I can't remember when it was in history, but they met, and basically between them they came up with a lot of the founding basis of behavioural economics, and it's just about their journey and how what they did and what they invented affected everything from kind of football, finance, trading, medicine, everything kind of all the way over all of life that you don't expect it's affected. And it's a really interesting one, I think, bringing those more niche subjects into it more applicable and accessible areas and I think he's such a well-known writer he's such a good writer I think it could be really brilliant the fifth one then is one that I personally haven't read any of this series but I know that this is going to be a really big deal and this is the fate of the tealing so this is the third book in the queen of the tealing series and obviously this is the one that Emma Watson's a big fan of she's going to be in the film they've announced she's going to be the main character in the film even though the film is years away from doing she was casted as essentially when they announced the film and it's kind of a fantasy dystopia. So it kind of combines the best of a lot of really popular genres at the minute. And they're just supposed to be really engaging. You get really caught up in the world and really interesting characters. Quite good feminist streaks through it. Just a really good mixture of things that's quite perfect for the world as it is today. And the kind of reading culture it is today as well. 
So I think this is going to be a really, really huge book. This could well be the biggest of these five. But I just, I'm really excited to see what all of these turn out like because it's such a good mixture for December. So there we have it. They are the top five books coming out in December 2016 here in the UK. I think they're all really interesting, all very different, admittedly. But I'm really intrigued to see what they all turn out like and I can't wait to give them all a read. As always, leave a like and subscribe and comment and things down below. It's super appreciated. If you've got any books that you're excited about coming out in the rest of this year, do let me know down below. And if you've got anything for January, I'm going to be doing another one of these videos, hopefully each month for the month ahead. So if you've got anything coming out in January 2017 you're excited about, let me know down below. Other than that, I'm going to leave my Twitter and my Goodreads and all the usual stuff in the description down below. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with my next video.